What's up, fam? You want to know how you can find commercial work? Let me tell you how. All you got to do is... What's up, fam? This is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care here in Conyers, Georgia. Hope you guys are cutting on. Today, I'm going to share with you a secret of mine. And it's not like I'm keeping a secret. It's just something that just crossed my um, plate and I'm gonna share that opportunity with you guys. All right, fam, if you're new to the channel, I'm just a normal lawn care pro who is trying to take his small business from 300,000 to a half a million this year, hoping to continue to cut on. So fam, what I got going on right now is that I have a company that actually pretty much solicit works. Um, basically what they do is they are the ones who already bid at work for big companies like Sears, Walmart, and then in this case, Burlington Coal Factory. All right, the name of this company is Advanced Service Solutions, right? So basically, um, I had found these guys last year um, and they wanted me to do a job. Um, the job they wanted me to do I told them how much money I wanted to pay and Pretty much they was not trying to give me what I was asking for So what did I do? I cut on without them kept pushing well this year um, They had the same property that they was pushing last year and basically it was brothers and coat factory and They wanted me to do it now just like anything fam um, when you know you're dealing with these companies that pretty much go out, get the bids, and then they pretty much subcontract the work out, you already know they got a bottom line what they're trying to pay. And pretty much um, what I did was, I don't, I don't say I hit a home run with these guys, I really didn't. A lot of times what I do is I, I just tell them, how much are you selling the car for? I mean, point blank, period. Because at any point, given time if I'm going out giving out quotes again and y'all know I hate giving out quotes um, but it's crazy because you got to get out quotes to to get work but I hate giving out quotes knowing that the person already have a budget in mind and they don't want to share with you the budget and then when you go ahead and give them your numbers they go oh you're too high and then they still won't share with you their budget which makes it very frustrating because sometimes you're trying to learn and figure it out you know what I'm saying I'm not saying that I'm a master at um, doing um, these these bids. I'm far from it. But at the same time, if they're not going to share with me their numbers, it's kind of hard for me to figure it out, and I don't want to lowball myself. So, fam, this is what I did. I pretty much said, hey, um, I know that y'all solicit the jobs and pretty much tell me what you have to um, get the bid at you know what I'm saying now the guy was reluctant to give me the bid he really was he was like ah yeah but how much would you do the job for yada yada and I'm saying how much you selling the car for I say you already got a budget in mind what is it he would not share with me his number so he threw out a very low ball basically he said hey um 1300 and he said that's for the year I said 1300 for the year yeah, he said, pretty much, man, you know, I know that's not worth your time. That's almost like driving out there for $27. I said, yeah, that ain't worth my time. He said, yeah, but if you go out there and bid and work with me, I'll, I'll, I'll try to make the numbers work for you. So since he told me how much the car was in my example here, um, I went out there and I looked at the job. And remember, guys, fam, I'm trying to keep my guys working trying to keep them busy and I have a real light Wednesday so the point was I was like man I got a light Wednesday I can go ahead and do this job probably won't make any money off of it however I'm cutting on and um I'm I'm, I'm, I'm putting my guys to work you know that's one of the ways that I'm looking at it especially if listen especially if you're a solo operator and you just picked up one person and you want to keep them busy you know go ahead and maybe get a job out there that you know that uh you got a light day go ahead and do the job man just for just to keep keep you guys cutting on so pretty much i wound up doing the berlin coal factory needed to clean up 
and I quote him 550, you know, for the cleanup. Now, you can see the, from these pictures um, <laughs> the areas that I had to cut, and believe me, <laughs> it's not big areas, but they, it was overgrown. So it being overgrown, we had to weedy most of it, and um, we had to put some mulch down in some of these planters right here. But for the most part of it, my guys was pretty much out there um, three hours. And it was six guys, so three hours, you know, for three guys for one hour, that's uh, 150 bucks. So two hours is 300 bucks. Three hours, you know, there you go. You know, we're looking at, what, 450. And they definitely was out there about two and a half, three hours, but it was six guys. So I definitely didn't earn my $50 per man hour on this job. However, if this guy can shoot me some work where I can keep cutting on, pretty much, man, I, I might continue to do work with him when I know I have light days and I'll put it on that day. So basically what they'll do is they'll send you a diagram like this one here that you see. And from that diagram, it'll tell you um, all the things that you have to do far as the area is concerned. Uh, another thing you gotta be mindful of what they want you to do. Uh, Cause sometimes they'll send you this long laundry list of stuff that needs to be done. And you need to narrow it down and say, hey man, I can do this, this and that, you know, mow, blow and go. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm not doing all the special projects. Cause sometimes those things come with special projects, plants, mulch. So when I got out there this time, it wasn't a lot of mo things to mulch. It was pretty much a couple of planters and I put mulch in it and everything. One of the things you gotta do that's kind of a headache though, after you finish working, you gotta collect all your pictures, right? And you gotta send it to them. And on top of that, you gotta have a manager sign off on it. Believe that. You gotta have a, you gotta go in the store and have a manager sign off. Uh, I don't ask my guy to go in there um, same day because they trying to get stuff done. Um, I might swing by there tomorrow or I might get my guy to go up there um, on the day we're not servicing any clients. But the last kicker fam is the fact that um, it's a 35 um, day wait for your check. So you gotta be able to still cut on without needing the money. But this is the information, man. You know, give that person a call, Joe. See if he can work something out in your state, in your town, in your city. All right, as always, cut on Lawn Cat Family, cut on, I'm cutting out.